Look, I have always told you, Sandra, as well, that I don't think those polls accurately reflect how people really feel across this country. We know they weren't right in 2016. I think they're even more incorrect now. That said, whenever I think moms especially out there see the violence in all of these Democrat-run cities that has been allowed to happen, the way that the the defund the police movement has taken a hold of, of so many of our great cities in this nation, It's very frightening. I mean, I have two kids and I would be terrified to live in a city or in a country that would have a a defunded police force where you didn't have law and order. This president has always stood up for law and order, and it's something that he stands strong with now. Uh, I think women are paying attention to that. And you only have to look at the track record of this president. And, And that's our goal with our Women for Trump coalition, to get the message out there about what this president has been able to do, a historic low in in women's unemployment over the past almost 70 years. It was a 70-year low as we were leading in to coronavirus. Uh, Over half of the jobs created in this country were 7 million new jobs. 3.6 million of those went to women. So this president has Mm. been very good for women, and that's our, our job at the Trump campaign, to get out there, remind women of that, but also tell them how frightening it could be if Joe Biden and his radical socialist Democrat party Party, got control of the United States, what you see happening in Minneapolis, Seattle, and Portland could be coming okay. to a town near you if Joe Biden got control.